Hi, right, yo, what's going on, guys? We're back once again for the final segment of Student Surveys. This one's going to be seniors only, and it's going to be kind of a send-off for the senior class. So, yeah. The first question this week is going to be, what was your most memorable moment while you were a student at Hume Fog? Oh, bro, what? <laughs> I don't know. We, we can come back to you. Yeah, cut. Um, so... My freshman year, I would ride the train home, and uh, within like the third day of being a freshman, uh, the train hit a cow um, right when I was about to go home, and I think about that a lot. Um, that's maybe not directly Hume Fog related, but I think it shaped my experience here. Um, in my freshman year, I went to the vending machines, and my snack got stuck, and then these two senior boys shook the vending machine for me, and I think about that every day. Okay, this is also freshman year. Um, but one time I dropped my water bottle and it like slid down the stair railing and someone like picked it up at the bottom and like they passed it all the way up the stairs. <laughs> oh, that's kind of yeah. Um, Mine is probably uh, the first day of senior year. We got to see everybody for like the first time in a year and we got to wear our crowns. Um, mine is probably, well, first of all, it's the time where I fell up the stairs, so that's already, like, way more embarrassing than falling down the stairs, but on top of that, my pants ripped, and it was, like, a huge rip, and I cried to Mr. Lovell, and he was like, just wait into the hallway until you can get pants, so I was just out in the hallway with my butt out, sitting on a bench for about an hour until my dad gave me pants, and I, that's very prevalent in my life. Um, mine is probably when I was a sophomore, and I wasn't like there for this, but I have a video of it on my phone. Like, some I think there were seniors threw like a trash can down from what was it, like the fourth floor? Oh, yeah, that was iconic. Yeah. Got yeah. Um, and there's like in the video, like Mr. Bruce walks up and he's like, "Oh, this is really bad, guys." Like, because <laughs> it was during an, a performance. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Those are really good. Oh. Uh, <laughs> My bad, Parker. My my most sincere apologies. All the time, bro. All the time. Okay, I remember um, vividly. I was auditioning for Mamma Mia, and I did so bad that someone had to run on stage and show me the words. And then I walked out of the school like, ah, ah, and then like a homeless dude passed by me, and he was like, stay in school. Because I was, I was so disheveled, he thought I was skipping. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. All right. Okay, I have I have two. So freshman year, I uh, I had some shoes and like the sole was kind of coming off of them. And I actually fell down like one of the flights of stairs in front of a group of seniors. That was pretty scary. But then like a happy moment, I've loved like every MLK Hume Fog girls soccer game. Those have always been great. Um. So this actually happened in October, the day of the volleyball state tournament, but I was walking with Jamie down the stairs and I slipped and fell all the way down and I was on my way to a college interview. Um, so then I got on the interview and I probably looked really disheveled because the interviewer asked me if I was okay. And I was like, yeah, I just, I fell down the stairs, but you know, it's, it's whatever. Um, and then also during sixth period, I hang out with Lovell and Kamek and the Hedgelin every single day with Arden and a couple other people and that's always really fun. I really like the day where it was last year like during the hybrid program and there was just a pig chilling in like the back parking lot and I just spent all of my math class hanging out with the pig and that was really fun. My most memorable moment was also the pig but I was online so it was um, it was more of an awakening. And I was like, man, I really miss him, Fog. And it kind of, it kind of reminded me of all the happy moments spent here that I can't think of. Probably just like the school environment and like going out for lunch, tea pack, you know. Mm -hmm. I second that. Okay. Um, for me, the most memorable moment was the whole first day of this year was really fun and exciting, and it was. It was a nice return. Um, for me, it was the senior run because it was really exciting to just go out and just run around the school for a few laps. Yeah, okay, those are good. Um, one time when I was a freshman, a senior yelled at me to get off the balcony and I cried. 
As we all know, if underclassmen try to enter the balconies, they will evaporate. So right. sounds like that senior was just working, looking out for your best interest, really. In hindsight, he was. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, probably the just all the MOK games over the past four years. Absolutely. Titan ball. Uh, winning the district soccer championship last year, not last year, freshman year. Is it good? Well, let's, let's start over there. Start over there. No, 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 go back, go back, go back. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think, honestly, it's just like, do you want me to take this? Okay. Uh, I think, honestly, it's just like spending time with friends and, uh, yeah, just like the friendships that I've made are definitely the most memorable thing. Um, the most memorable moment from my high school career at Hume Fogg was chipping my tooth in the cafeteria my freshman year on the door. That was my most me memorable moment. I have like a, a deep fear of stairs now. It's not good. Uh, probably my my moment was the blue jazz trip or the jazz band trip in 2020 right before the pandemic that was a really good trip i don't really have a most memorable moment i'm just gonna say i like the concerts above all else yeah i really like Seb sebjan swaying back and forth to the it's like to the beat to the beat of the jackhammer perfectly we gotta go back to jack Probably my most memorable moment was the day, my first day of school after the pandemic. So I was like, I don't know how long, like since I've seen people my age, but in a normal school environment. So it was kind of surreal just being back in the building around people. It's kind of a cool moment. Good to be back. Those were good guys. If you guys could create one rule that future Hume Fogg students had to follow, what would you, what would it be? Don't get on the elevators to the past. Just don't do it. It's annoying. I thought this was a rule, but it's just an unspoken rule. Um, the balconies are for seniors, and they can take juniors up there, but no sophomores and freshmen, and they get priority of the balconies, so just keep that in mind. I would probably say walk on the right side of the hallway. It, just, it works like cars. Like, you walk on the right, and then you come back from the left. Yeah, just do that. I would say be nice to Mr. Skinner, because he's a king. I've actually said, I've heard that if underclassmen try to go on the balconies, they will evaporate. That, that, that's what I've seen happen, so just, I wouldn't try it. Um, this kind of builds off of what y'all else said about walking on the right side of the hallway, but like go through the right side of the doorways, because like that is how people, I've gotten smacked in the face multiple times because underclassmen just don't understand how it works. I know you don't have to know how to drive, but like, right side. To further on the walking narrative, don't stop in the middle of the hallway. I have almost run down people because they just stop and you have to go, oh my God, don't do that. Just walk on the right side of the hallway and especially like the doors go through the right side. To be completely honest, um, PDA in the hallway is just not it, okay? So if you're like feeling coupley, like no PDA in the middle of the hallway, especially in the transition time, like save it for another time, please. Um, I'm gonna say probably just like treat your teachers with respect or actually don't hang out in the bathrooms during class and do whatever you're doing because sometimes <laughs> It's really awkward for both your teachers and your students when you come back after like an hour and people are like, okay. Walk on the right sides of the hallway all the time. Don't stand in the middle of a doorway. Uh, that's what I was gonna say. And also, um, uh, if you're in the bathroom, don't ma uh, make sure that you tell people if there are open stalls um, it's gotta be, you gotta walk a little bit faster, um, maybe 12 miles an hour on the stairs going downwards, um, at the end of the day. Blue Knights be kind. That's fire. Learn how to park. Walk on the right side of the door and the stairs. Just don't walk on the left and run into someone because it's just, 
so annoying. It's really that simple. Don't stop in the middle of the hallway. That gets so I get so mad. But yeah. Don't wear sweatshirts or uh, zip up zip up hoodie jackets at all. Okay, yeah. Um I guess I would tell them to like I guess just not be stupid with the uh, in the hallways during IS. Give seniors their seats on the bus. I'm looking at you, freshmen. That's facts. I should not have to stand up on the five. I guess the three B now, but that that's one hundred percent facts. Um like in the hallways where the doors split, the one on the right is the one that you're supposed to walk through. The one on the left, you're not supposed to walk through that <laughs> door. Yeah, Alex just stole mine. You have to walk through the right. You have to walk through the right. That was going to be my answer as well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last question, guys. What's the one piece of advice you have for future Hume Fogg students? Okay. <laughs> Okay, um, my biggest piece of advice would say, would be to say, uh, join things. Like, oh my God, join things. Like, if even if you think you're not gonna like it, like I came in being like, I'm not a sports kid. I don't like sports, or I don't like this. Still not. You're uh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> like you're like coming in at 14 years old. You don't know who you are. You don't have like you've decided that this is your identity, but like it may not be the thing that you like. I just join clubs and everything you want to join. Uh, definitely go to club meetings, even if you think they they might not be fun. Just go. Uh, freshman year is the time to experiment and try new things that you thought you want to do. Um, talk to new people. Uh, make friends outside of your school, especially if you're coming from uh, bigger schools. You know, I, it was hard with COVID and all that. Uh, but make new friends in future years. Yeah, I would say just like make sure to talk to everybody because there's a lot of cool people at Hume Fog, but I don't really realize it because it's kind of clicky sometimes. But usually when you talk to people and just like open a conversation, people want to talk. So, you know, just meet some people. I would say go to school events. Like it's not lame, it's fun, have school spirit. Yeah. I would say um, this school moves very fast and everything is very stressful. It's sometimes good to just stop and just like take it all in because you're only going to have these four years once. Um, building off of what Parker said, I think that it is kind of clicky and friend group wise, but in class you're going to talk to everyone and it's like a great opportunity to just like everybody's just so nice to talk to and pretty outgoing. And also on top of that, um, your friend groups will change and that's okay. Um, I would just say like, don't get cocky about, I don't know, being a Hume Fog student, like it's not your whole personality. So, you know, like I feel like that can just like block you off from like meeting new people. Yeah, meet new people. This is kind of basic, but I would just say, don't stress yourself out too much. Like everything's gonna work out in the end. So don't worry about it too much. I have two, but one, like drama is stupid. Like petty, social drama like it's dumb don't get caught up in it like be an open kind person and like go out of your way to like talk to people and make as many friends as you can because that's like that'll make your high school experience so much better and then also like get close with your teachers like having people to talk to at school that aren't your parents like people you can open up to um it's a very important thing so like get close with your teachers um, I'm going to say join as many clubs as you can or just like stuff that you're interested in because it's really helpful especially in like your junior and senior year as you're kind of starting to funnel into what your actual interests are. If you kind of tend to gravitate towards a certain club, it's usually something that you just like to do in life in general. Do everything. Like if you have any part of you that wants to try something or like, I don't know, try out for the musical or join orchestra or do art like just do it because you have nothing to lose and those like my biggest regrets are what I didn't do so do everything you want to do um get to know your teachers uh live in the moment uh don't use your locker 
Uh, don't be afraid to miss a couple buses to stay after school and hang out. You're, you're not going to get that time back. I'd say use your locker. It's really helpful. <laughs> and, um, it's um, using my locker, figuring out a way to put stuff in there and get stuff when I need it has helped my back a lot. Um, I'd say that time flies a lot faster than you think it will, and so make the most of it. That was great. Thank you, guys. Find a teacher with a Keurig or a coffee maker in their room and be nice to them. That's it. All right, thank you. Uh, I would say just cherish every moment. It goes by a lot faster than I would have anticipated. Um, four years ago, literally felt like yesterday, so it goes by really quick. Don't procrastinate. Uh, when it comes to senior year, just kind of like, kind of like try to scrape up any motivation you can towards the end because you really do feel like you want to give up in a sense. So just, just keep going, just keep going. All right, thank you guys. Piece of advice I would give would be to not expect it to be easy, but expect it to be worth it. Um, <laughs> that was really philosophical. Um, I think just, just make sure you're trying your best and uh, make sure you're studying, but also make sure that you're having a good time too. Uh, just make sure you're cherishing every moment. Form good relationships with your teachers. Do your homework on time, and if you can't do it on time, then make sure you can do it late. <laughs> uh, you should participate in like after school stuff especially if you're in like band and you should do like jazz. Um, if you're into JCL, you should do that too. Uh, learn when to take it easy, especially since all of us need sleep. Please God, give me more sleep. I do. Thank you guys. <laughs>